You know, all you hear about today is fear, fear, fear. People are just fearful. They're fearful not only about the coronavirus and things that we're going through right now, but they're fearful about a lot of other things that are going on in their life. They're fearful about, you know, what if my, my job doesn't hire me back? What if I don't have enough money to make it through? Or maybe somebody's fearful about the, uh, the physical prognosis that a doctor has given. You know, we'll never reach a time in our life that we're not fearful. And, uh, you know, I'm fearful about things. You say, Pastor, what in the world are you fearful about? Well, one of the things I'm fearful about is I'm fearful about heights. I hate being on any kind of roof. I mean, I remember not long ago I had to get up on the roof to do something. And uh, you say it wasn't very high up there on that roof. But you know what? I was terrified. I really was because I just don't like heights. Well, you know what I found out? I found out that it doesn't make any difference if we, uh, how long we've known Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior or not. There are things that come along in our life that make us fearful. I'm reminded of a story that uh, Jesus and the disciples one day, they were going from one side of the Sea of Galilee to the other sea, other side of the Sea of Galilee, and had all the disciples were there on the boat. And these have been people that had walked with the Lord for a long time. And a great storm came up when they were there on the sea. And they were afraid. They were afraid because they had something to be afraid of. There was a great big storm. It says in Mark chapter four and verse 37, it says, but soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. And Jesus was on board. And they probably thought to themselves, why in the world is this storm going on? Hey, Jesus, why have you allowed this? Hey, Jesus, don't you care that we're about ready to, the boat's about ready to crack in half? Don't you care that we're maybe about ready to drown? It says in the 38th verse of Mark chapter 4, it says Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. Imagine that. Jesus sleeping through the storm. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're about ready to drown? Don't you care what we're going through? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Don't you care, Jesus, what I'm going through? Don't you care about my financial needs, my physical needs, marital needs, different things? Jesus had a question. Was your, is your faith in the storm or is it in me? Mark chapter 4, verse 39 and 40. I like what this verse, these verses says. It says, when Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. And he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples said, who in the world is this man? Who is this man that can cause the waves to stop, the storms to stop? Verse 41 of Mark 4, the disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Let me ask you this question today. Who is this man? Who is this man that you call your Lord and your Savior? Is he not the one, the true, the mighty, awesome God in your life? If he's able to take care of the storms, if he's able to take care of the environment, if he's able to take care of your eternity, if you know him as Lord and Savior, if he can take you to heaven, do you not think that he can take care of your financial needs? Do you not think that he can take care of the needs of your family, your physical needs, your circumstances, your situations? I mean, pastor, I have run up into something in my life that God can just not handle. You'll never be able to say that. That's not ever true. He loves you with an everlasting love. There is nothing in your life right now or ever will be in your life or mine that God cannot handle. The disciples were afraid. Jesus was just waiting for them to come to say to him, Lord, can you handle this? As soon as they did, he said, peace be still. The wind stopped. The waves stopped. They were fine. Could it be today that Jesus is just waiting for you to have enough faith in him? To say, okay, Jesus, here's my circumstance. Here's my situation. Here's my storm. I want to give it to you. That's what he's waiting for. Because he will be the one that will calm those things in your life. You be encouraged by that today. Who is this man? His name is Jesus. God bless you.